In our previous video, we discussed the Mountain Brow Boulevard. Mountain Brow eventually turns into the street that we'll be discussing today. That street is Concession Street. Let's get pedaling. We begin by turning right onto Belvedere off of Inverness. Now, we're including Belvedere because it is essentially a continuation of Concession, much like Concession is a continuation of Mountain Brow. That being said, Belvedere only scores a 61%, which is a D minus. It's not a horrible street. It's just a very basic street. It does not connect any neighborhoods and really only connects to Concession and Inverness. Inverness is an important street because it is a good way to get to Southam Park, which I uh, have mentioned in a previous video, Southern Park is my preferred method to get on to the Ketty Axis. But yeah, it only scores 61%. Here we are, finally on Concession. And um, yeah, Concession scores 60%. Which is a bit of a surprise. It, it just scores 60%. It connects five neighborhoods. It connects to uh, two major parks. But uh, the biggest problem is that there is a lot of intersections and the conflict points that can occur because of these intersections. To the left here, um, it says Vola Court to the right, but to the left is actually part of the Jolly Cut. And continuing on ahead, we have Upper Wellington and the Jolly Cut. I did not include the Jolly Cut on that previous intersection, mainly because you can't turn there. But it is a good way when coming up the Jolly Cut, take that uh, off ramp to the right. But yeah, um, concession. It's not a horrible street. There's lots of stores. Lots of places to go to, there's parks, it essentially runs alongside the escarpment edge, but um, it could be better. We have two lanes here when traveling east and one lane uh, in this section when traveling west. I do think we probably could fit some bike lanes in here, and by including those bike lanes, we, uh, we could up the score quite a bit. Uh, another issue that I have with this street is that we have these bump outs, and you have the bump out and then parking. And the biggest issue with these bump outs is that they're kind of pointless. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not sure what the technical name for these little bump outs are is, but uh, it's supposed to slow traffic down, but when you have a lane that is not affected by them whatsoever. Actually, both lanes, uh, inside lanes traveling in either direction, are not affected by these. It's not going to slow you down. It's just protecting the parked cars. And parked cars don't really need protection. <laughs> if anything, it's, it's forcing bicyclists to have to get closer to the inside lane. Up ahead, I have changed lanes because it is a right lane turnoff. You could very well just travel straight through. Um, but the, everything kind of narrows down. There's typically parked cars up ahead, so it's probably best to get to that inside lane. I'm traveling pretty much on the line, uh, which not a lot of people are comfortable with because car doors can open up randomly. Uh, you're not always in a spot that someone can see you. A driver might be able to see you because they have the mirrors, but a passenger is not going to be able to see you with those mirrors. So those doors can still open up. You can still be hit. The road is quite narrow, so I don't really know if we could fit bicycle lanes in here. Uh, there is parking on both sides occasionally. The uh, the westbound side doesn't seem to always have parking. 
So I'm not sure if you could fit a bike lane on that side. Even if it was in just one direction, having one bike lane would really help. Up ahead, we have the hospital. And not too far after the hospital, we actually will be reaching the end and connecting with the Mountain Brow Boulevard. It's the street really could be a great connection from going from the Mountain Brow to say the Ketty Access or to if you're comfortable with the Jolly Cut traveling up or down it. But yeah, the, the street really could be so much better, especially seeing as there's so many small shops and it seems like it's it's a community and you just can't cycle in it comfortably so yeah that being said we are uh, in the section that is not as busy perhaps this section you might be able to fit a cycling lane in it's more residential it could at least get you to say upper sherman and then maybe from upper sherman you might have to do a bypass i don't like having to get off a road once you've gotten on a road it should be from end to end or at least a solid section uh, of a road should be bicycle lanes if there's going to be bicycle lanes and given the fact that this is an important road, I do think it needs to be bicycle lanes at some point. But as you can see, when traveling east, there's tons of parking. And we don't want to get rid of parking for people, but maybe we do. A lot of people have driveways, so do you really need parking on the road? The, uh, the westbound traffic when traveling westbound, I should say, uh, that's probably a better spot to have a bicycle lane. You also have the, the issue that there is more connections with other roads to the right when traveling east, so you can have less connections and conflict points if it were on the north side of the road. But yeah, that is pretty much concession. This park is the park. Uh, if you watched the previous video on the Mount Brow Boulevard, we ended up at this park. We were approaching these stop signs from the other direction. And this is East 43rd Street. I haven't been saying all the streets, uh, but yeah, it's kind of the dividing line between concession mountain brow uh, it kind of ends in a weird spot it's essentially right where this road starts to curve that's when it changes from one to the other but anyways i hope you enjoyed this video take care